Mariner 6 and Mariner 7 continue to tell us more and more about the planet Mars. Those canals we thought were there are not, and the little green men that Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote about in his books don't exist. But now the Jet Propulsion Laboratory advises instruments on Mariner 7 have detected elements on Mars that indicate life could exist. ABC Science Editor Jules Bergman reports from Pasadena, California. Two of the gases that are basic building blocks of life have been found in the Martian atmosphere. Ammonia and methane have been discovered by Mariner 7's infrared spectrometer, an instrument that measures the gaseous properties of the atmosphere. The ammonia and methane were found over the south pole of Mars, and Dr. George Pimentel, a Berkeley chemist, claims he also found that Mars doesn't have a dry ice polar cap, and he suggests the chance of biological life. The qualitative presence of methane and ammonia in the atmosphere gives no direct clue whatsoever concerning its origin. Nevertheless, one cannot restrain the speculation that it might be a biological item. If these methane and ammonia absorptions are real, and we believe they are, and if they are of biological origin, a plausible model comes to mind. In the region near the edge of the polar cap, polar ice provides a reservoir of water. The solid carbon dioxide cloud provides protection from ultraviolet radiation. The geographic localization of the absorptions suggests that their origin is in this hospitable region, a region certainly deserving further exploration. No one disagrees that ammonia and methane have been found in quantities less than but comparable to what's found in the Earth's atmosphere. But all the other Mariner scientists flatly disagree with Pimentel's conclusion that Mars has water on its polar cap or anything but solid dry ice. And they warn that the Martian atmosphere is far too thin and cold to support any kind of life. It'll take weeks more to analyze the data and solve the controversy. But no one disagrees that a major scientific discovery has been made. This is Jules Bergman, ABC News, reporting.